Hello, in this short video I will share 5 tips on working with Affinity Photo. Let's get started. Tip number 1. Apply blend settings and modes to multiple layers at once. As you might know, you can select multiple layers by holding the command or shift key. But one nice trick of Affinity Photo is that changing the blend properties will affect all the selected layers. This also applies for opacity and blend mode, of course. Tip number two, the RGB parade. I find the RGB parade a very useful tool when playing with color. The RGB parade can be found in the scope panel. If the scope panel is not enabled, you can enable it from the View Studio Scopes menu. The RGB parade shows the intensity per channel. Each of the three color channels represent the whole image from left to right. So the red section represents the red color channel for the whole image and not just for the first third of the image. Same applies to the green and to the blue. It immediately gives you an overview on how the photo is balanced. You can use a curves adjustment layer or any other color adjustment layer to change this balance. This is of course totally depending on the look you are aiming for. Tip number three, rotate the canvas. When you are using a brush, sometimes it might be easier for you if the canvas was rotated. You can do this on a MacBook at least by using the mouse trackpad and rotate it with two fingers. The rotation center will be your mouse position. You can also rotate in steps of 15 degrees using the view rotate left or rotate right menu items. To reset the rotation use the view reset rotation menu. Tip number four. Info panel and the sampler. We all know that the info panel contains a lot of useful information like the mouse position, document color format, relative distance and angle. But it also opens up the sampler functionality. The sampler allows you to measure color at a chosen position. To set a marker just drag and drop the crosshair icon from the info panel to a position in the image. If you need more samplers, just use the context menu to add samplers. You can also remove samplers by using the context menu. Just make sure you have a selected sampler. Tip number five, linking layers. This is a new feature from the latest version of Affinity. I could spend a whole video on this, but for today I want to share it as a quick tip. First of all, enable the links panel from the View Studio links menu if you're not seeing the links panel. Select the layer you want it to be linked and drag and drop the thumbnail of the layer you want it to be linked to. Now we can repeat this as many times as we want. So the little trick I use to remember on how to link layers is always drop the parent layer on the child layer. Now, if we draw on one of the layers, it will affect all the link layers. That's pretty cool. So let's play around with it a little bit more. I'm going to create a shape mask, but I also wanted to apply to other layers. I duplicate the masks, reposition them and link them. Once linked, you can see that when I change the shape of a linked mask, all the other linked masks get the same shape. This is definitely a time saver. A little disclaimer from my experience. As this is a new feature, it can be buggy sometimes. For example, you may have noticed that the thumbnails of the masks do not match what actually is shown. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments if you have questions, remarks or suggestions. 
Thank you very much for watching.